The word it means so much more in the language of our people when you say it with the understanding that that's what you were really saying. Uh, my late mother would tell me, Love your brothers and your sisters from your family and all of your relatives, grandparents, parents. Even though that we are ugly maybe and uneducated and all sorts of negative things that people might see about us, love us anyway. In the uh, language of our people, there are certain words that are said in English, and we try to apply it in the language of our people to the words that we have. Uh, and one of those words, of course, is the word love. In our presentations and traditional teaching, we don't use the word too often as far as expressing how we should feel toward other people. Because uh, it is a completely different uh, concept and understanding uh, the word. In our language, we say, I remember my uh, mother, uh, my late mother, when she would tell me, you know, that means love your brothers and your sisters from your family and all of your relatives, your grandparents and uh, your parents. And she was, uh, one time she says, that means even though that we are ugly maybe and uneducated and all sorts of negative things that people might see about us, love us anyway. Or that means the substitute for the word love. But when you Take a look at the word in our language, a A better translation would probably be that I glory in your existence. And that is the way that you would express your feelings for a person. Is that I glory in your existence. Your prayer is my prayer. Your good deeds are my good deeds. And the way you treat other people is the way that I will treat other people. And it is that it, if it is good, if you are walking in beauty, I would walk in your footsteps. I glory in your existence, is that the things that you do bring me joy, happiness, confidence, and peace. And so the word, it means so much more in the language of our people when you say it with, those, with the understanding that that's what you are really saying, is that um, I will worship the holy people as you worship the holy people. I will pray to the holy people as you pray to the holy people. And it is that I will love my fellow being as you love your fellow being. So the example that you set for me, I appreciate and I glory in your existence. In English, uh, when people try to give a definition to love, it uh, may be complicated. But in some of my reading and research, as far as the written word, I came across uh, C.S. Lewis and uh, his definition of the four types of love. And it was really interesting, the way that he defines the various uh, types of love. It's very important because it is that in the traditional teaching of our people, everything being based on a sacred number four, it is that love has four different types of feelings and understanding of those feelings. And that is the way that uh, the word it covers so much more that we really just can't say that love is said it is so much more. And those are the things that we are told. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay.